The CS2 major open qualifiers recently took place, and for those of you- We all know it, there were some clips. This guy's cheating, this guy's cheating, open qualifier, anyone can sign up, accounts for 30 hours, doesn't matter. Let's see. You don't know, it's an open qualifier. This means that any team can join and compete for a place in the closed qualifiers which start on January the 18th, the next stage of the tournament. However, there's been quite a lot of controversy at this stage. 1,024 teams joined, but not everybody had the opportunity to compete. Pro Team Bleed, formed of well-known pro players, missed out due to a capped entry number which kind of defeats the point of an L. open qualifier where everyone can join this however was probably the least source of controversy just so uh, just for, for for clarity they did for the next upcoming qualifier because they realized oh, okay it's above the number that we allow they made two different brackets the third qualifier was the only time where it happened the ones before everyone got in because not enough teams signed up more and more teams signed up third qualifier was too many there was an l a lot of people couldn't join fourth one they made two brackets Versi. Yeah. valve picked a platform called challenger mode to host these qualifiers which use an anti-cheat called acros many pros have been complaining about how poorly the tournament was run by challenger mode saying the anti-cheat is causing them to get disconnected rounds have to be restarted rounds are lost because of the the lag caused by the anti-cheat and issues with the anti-cheat not even allowing them to launch the game in the first place. Even the website crashed, not allowing some players to ready up. Not only that, but their anti-cheat at cross seems like it kind of sucks. They tweeted out this, stating that 30 players have been banned by at this makes no sense. This tweet, bro? They posted that them. What is this tweet? Arcos anti cheat updating the ad Counter Strike. First of all, taking out community on current ban numbers by Arcos during the open qualifiers. We have banned over 30 cheaters. 1,024 teams. Do the math. Times five. Over 6K people. Since the start of the event, permanently from all future Arcos protected events, the cheats detected by our team have been almost entirely kernel hardware based cheats. We're continuing to hand out bans via automated analysis and review cases as they are provided. Our experience during this event has taught us one very crucial thing. Cheating in CS2 is utterly and completely of 30 people? 1,024 times 5? Yeah, 5k over 5k people. Bro, 30 people are cheating out of 5, 5k? What do you mean completely out of control? Like, the, the tweet, it makes no sense. Am I tripping? Across. And the CS2 cheating problem. That's a lot. Are you dumb? For the major. For the major. If you have in Premiere every, every game a cheater, open qualifier 30 cheaters out of 5k people, anyone could sign up. Are you, nah, you're tripping. You're tripping. Problem is you're out tripping. of control. How did they not already know that the CS2's nothing. cheating problem? is out of control. Have they never joined a game of Premiere in their lives? It seems they were very poorly prepared for the level of cheating that is integrated into CS2 right now. They mention in this tweet that banned players were using devices like hardware cheats, just like I talked about and showcased three years ago in this video. At the time, it was fairly underground, and I produced the video to bring awareness to it and hopefully combat it a little bit in the future. Unfortunately, it seems the right people didn't listen or or watch it and our first ever cs2 major is riddled with closet cheaters you may be asking yourself well why would people want to cheat in the cs2 major in the first place not only would they have bragging rights about becoming a pro cs player and competing in the most prestigious cs2 tournament there is but there's also a little incentive called sticker money last major it was calculated per player to earn around a quarter of a million dollars from stickers alone. In this video, we're gonna review some clips of some suspected and some banned teams and players because it will be fun. CS2 hasn't had an Overwatch feature in it for ages, so I, I, it's kind of like a personal little Overwatch session. You'd think at a major, they try to hide it as well as possible, try and seamlessly blend in with the legit players, but no, some of these cheaters are so obvious that it's painful. Firstly, we're looking at a team called Rush B, a Russian team. Oh, currently wait, this, this video is going to be a little bit controversial, no? Because there's always discussion about uh, is, are they actually cheating, are they not? Is this team actually cheating? Ranked by HL TV. If, if you're showing the Mirage clip, that, that clip, I don't know. 59th in the whole world. They haven't been banned for cheating, but some people have been commenting on how incredibly sus they are. This is a wool bang they got in the qualifiers on Ancient, and it's not so much the wool oh. bang that's sus. Like, people could do this, definitely high tier pro teams could quite easily achieve What's this, but it? it's the fact he moves his crosshair slightly. Chat. 
Can we all agree that this one? It, to me, it, it proves more that they're not cheating than they are, or? Bro, who the fuck in their right mind, if you're cheating, goes for a bang like this? Why am I tripping? To adjust for the CT's positioning. That's, that's what seems a little sus. This clip, coupled with some previous clips of them, like this one this from- hitting on head level on left and right. Mirage, that definitely looks like Wallhack and Aimlock. Or other pro players, just like UK's great hope, Shmuya, calling them out for clips like this. <laughs> These same guys from Rush B recently played a team who has a banned cheater. He's been banned now on the team called Pike, and they actually ended up beating them. I want okay, maybe they are. <laughs> maybe they're just stupid. I don't know. I'll review the clip myself. I, I I'll let know. Oni and Olaf do that for me. About them before, so probably yeah, probably. Whoa! Did you see Pike? What? That was Zeus. Who remembers the Pike saga? We even had Pike on Discord. I hope he shows the clip. Those guys were obviously like legends. Who's oh, oh, looking at this? Yeah, 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 yeah. Can I wait for the smoke? Or? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> Just the perfect. <laughs> And we have this clip from that clip was nah nah bro nah that doesn't look like nah that puts me in a bad light bro the thing was with them they played like complete bots but they were somehow very deep into the open qualifier like it was so obvious that they're cheating they were playing like complete bots and then hitting like smoke kills everything that was the part where it was okay they're cheating after that we invited them to discord he was no, super no. nervous. He started advertising his crypto coin. If you remember, you remember. That guy was cheating on a stack. Not because of these clips, though. Abu, not sure how they're going to explain this one. Not cheating. <laughs> Lol. That's crazy. Olaf oh, also bro, why are they putting these clips in? Oh my god, oh my god, Olympics thing is shitty. No! I was just in like, wow, cool wall bang. Oh my days, bro. This nuke game with the presumed cheater. You see here, he turns away from the flash and he should have absolutely no knowledge is coming whatsoever. Yeah, it's <laughs> what? Where is he? There we go. This guy. When I watched him against Alliance, he was a little bit sus. Now. Bro, look, like he's... I I'm telling you, he's weird, man. <laughs> like, he's on the perfect position okay. again. But they failed the model. Oh, Lord. Chat, Lord. we need to do. What do you think? Is it sus or not after a while? We give him five more Asking rounds. Asking chat, okay? that's always the best thing to do. <laughs> they have to cancel it. Like, and now he walks away, like, on the perfect time. For me, when I watch him aiming, he's like, sorry, guys, but the aiming is so freaking bad. Okay, this guy, if he's not, he has to have freaking high sense, no, this cons guy. Cons, I go Twitter. He was back, man, but they cleared him. Uh, There's also been a very obvious example what? of a team cheating on Mirage. As you can see, it's 1816, so the pressure Oh, is those guys, oh. Okay, here we go. It is overtime. <laughs> this one was blatant. Unseen here, who is quite clearly wall hacking. He's not looking anywhere else apart from lower B, which he knows that they're all stacked at. And then he comes out here with his knife, absolutely no fear, tries to nade them, messes it up <laughs> like bro. an absolutely giant silver. And then I he swear, just... this is how you can tell uh, who's cheating on her, bro. Not because, oh, the, the wall bang there, the bang there. No, if they're playing like fucking ass. And then they, all of a sudden they're fucking deep into the major doing shit like this. Stays there with his knife out like where is he even looking? He's looking in some weird directions right now. And then he's back. He's back to the lower A. Trying to nade, trying to flash. But he's not looking anywhere else whatsoever. Do you know why? Because he's got all the knowledge. Here he is following them through <laughs> with his knife oh. out. Absolutely no fear whatsoever. A little pre-aim right here on the guy on spawn. And boom. Obviously cheating. He's holding A main, you know. It's 142. Okay, he's just holding, not doing anything. Op is holding him. He's so smart, is he? Just holding. Oh, Op is rotating. Hmm, this might be a good timing to take A main. Look how he's taking A main. He's not even clearing it fully. Okay, we see. He's, now he's holding. What? We see guy rotating from Dora. Yeah, he's watching A main. Oh, okay, he's rotating. And in, start moving, my friends. Look how he's clearing A side. Look, look, up, oh, 
What do you see? What do you see? Oh. He's rewinding it. See? It is a weird way to peek in. Jack, if somebody, not even an op, if anybody was holding you there, you're dead. Jamais en toute une overpass, hein? Pas une fois. Oh no! 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 Here's another clip from the major of two teams on Anubis. I think this is Nevermore who have been disqualified for using cheats since then. CTs have an entire stack here on the A side. And as soon as the Ts are within some kind of distance where their wall hacks would probably be able to read the player info and see that it is a full stack, suddenly <laughs> they decide not to rush A anymore and everyone just diverts over to B. And once they've got B, they get these weird smoke shots on top of Oh. The anti-cheat from challenger mode, Acros, also mentioned that they banned kernel cheats, which are cheats which are really hard to detect, operating at the deepest and most privileged level of a PC. At the time, I think it was a bit of a brag, like, look, our anti-cheat is so good, it caught these cheats that are really hard to detect. But since then, they deleted that tweet. I think they realized that admitting to CS2's massive cheating problem wasn't a great idea. For the 30 players they did ban, how many players didn't they ban? It's a 100% certainty that some players who are qualified are still closet cheating using sophisticated methods that aren't detected by Acros slipping through. Do you think there's cheaters in the RMR? RMR is on LAN. So at that point, Gilmar. people who are actually bad, like they will just get kicked out, I guess. Through the net and robbing the hopes and dreams of people that have worked really hard, legit people that have worked really hard to get there and deserve to qualify much, much more than a could cheetahs may, may have taken a chance from an, a, a legit team because they eliminated other ones and, and stuff and now somehow they went through yes that absolutely cheetah loba and seems that's very annoying for sure to think that on the rmr land there will be no anti-cheat i don't know if this is true or not but if so this means players Come can still team. continue to cheat at land by smuggling in hardware like mice or keyboards that have inbuilt <laughs> cheats already on them that seems pretty obvious other methods that we probably don't even know about i'm hoping when it gets to some of the final stages of the cs2 major that all the cheaters will be eradicated and will have nothing but clean professional games but what i feel like hoping this? this is similar to hoping that I'll have a clean game hopping into premiere matchmaking. It seems like Valve just don't care enough, not even about the biggest official tournament that they run. I hope everybody enjoyed the video. If you did, slap that like button as always and leave your personal comments down below on all of these cheating scandals that are currently going on leading up to the major. I'll leave you with some words from the legend Pasha Bicep. And, uh, and the last one, Valve. Counter-Strike, Mr. Gayman, please take care of our lovely game, Counter-Strike. It's not too late. They are, they are. Hey, GG, well played. And nice video. I enjoyed that. I enjoyed that. I enjoyed that. Great sum up of all the clips that uh, were rolling around during the uh, uh, open qualifier and stuff. Pang. Leave him some love. Leave him some love. Now!